Since racism in sport is underway this hour, the summit spearheaded by the former minister and Robben Island prisoner Tokyo Sekhale is aimed at fighting all forms of racism and discrimination in the field of play. The meeting opened with a speech from former president Thabo Mbeki, former president Khalima Motlanti and other high-profile sporting leaders and UN officials as well were also attending. President Zuma will give a keynote address tomorrow. Let's cross now for the latest to find out what's been happening today. Our contributing editor, Vuyong Volko, is there. Vuyong? Well, thanks very much, Peter. Well, the conference has just uh, gone into a recess. Um, in the next half an hour or so, proceedings are going to resume here. But uh, former President Thabo Mbege did, of course, uh, make the opening remarks to this conference. He did share uh, some of the things that he has seen, some of the things that he has heard, which he said um, are further proof that racism is very rife um, in the world, but of course, underscoring the very importance of this conference that all of us as civil society in particular have to really rally behind this effort because it's a very important one he took us back uh, you'll recall that some years ago he was the president of South Africa when the United Nation uh, United Nations gave us the task to convene that world conference against racism here in South Africa and he did share um, some views there, but also he made the point that even though the world's attention was drawn to, to this issue, till today that uh, this issue of racism is refusing to go away. That will just give you a sense of what he said. Here's how um, he put it. However, I believe that if an audit were to be carried out to assess what the member states of the United Nations and civil society had done, to implement the agreed program of action, it would show that by and large not much was done by all of these to implement that program of action. I believe that this serves to emphasize the importance of adopting the suggested codes of conduct once the Global Charter has been approved, precisely to ensure that the commitments contained in the Charter are honored, thus practically to strike a mighty blow against racism. So even though there was a genuine effort by the entire world to deal with the problem of racism in the world, not much has been achieved as a president, former president Thabo Mbeki said there. In other words, underscoring the importance of this particular summit having to deliver on whatever it is that it will be putting in front of the world. In other words, this shouldn't be another talk shop. It's back to you, uh, Peter. Our thanks to our contributing editor, William Vorko, who's uh, in Johannesburg covering that summit. There'll be more on that as it continues into a second day tomorrow. Well, looking at another top story now, opposition parties in Parliament have had mixed reactions following the collapse of the multi-party agreement reached with Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa on Tuesday. Ramaphosa wrote to parties today, informing them that the deal has now become unworkable. He cited the Democratic Alliance's motion to censure President Jacob Zuma in the National Assembly as the reason. The deal agreed to on Tuesday sought a political solution to ongoing issues of members' decorum in the National Assembly. But it seems it was short-lived. In a letter to party leaders, Deputy President Ramaphosa says, to successfully restore the dignity